I'm Pat Gunn. Uh, welcome back to my Let's Play Skyrim. And we are just outside of uh, Riften. But before we go in, I just noticed that there are some Khajiit here. So I will just come and uh, say hi to them. A few days ago, we were one of them stole my moon and it, given to me by my mother when I was just a cow. So we can pick up a, a uh, quest. I miss my amulet. And uh, well, you've come to the right place. And this is a speech trainer. Speech is a great skill to train because every uh, every rank that you have in speech uh, will improve your buying and selling costs throughout the whole rest of the game. Let's see, I think one of these guys... If you have come to see our wares, speak to the others. One of these uh, guys will... Uh, hmm. I thought one of these guys would, uh, would buy and sell stuff, but... I'm not finding... Maybe it's this character? Yeah. So do we have anything that we need to sell? No. And we note that steel arrows at this point, with our speech and perks, are only worth one. Iron arrows are still not worth anything. That is fine. Um, we can sell off our boots. Yeah, so maybe we don't have... We can sell Horker Tusk. Nothing else that we really have to sell. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and... Oh, so this guard is heading off somewhere. He has spotted something. What has he spotted? Oh. There's a vampire over there. I guess we're going to get a little bit... Whoop. Vampires are pretty sweet because, ooh, unfortunately, this is kind of dangerous. Okay, so we're kind of in trouble here. You might need it to actually run off because... Oh yeah, we're just about dead. And we really do not seem to have any way. Okay, that's embarrassing. So, these things occasionally happen. We are going to head back over here and get that training and speech back. Is it Tim? Yeah, it's Tim. And... Resell our stuff. Boots. Books don't need the bounty. Can sell the Horker Tusk. Okay, we're good. I hope that you will come to the place. Oh. Okay, what's going on now? Oh, this time there's a dragon. Actually, a dragon could be useful if he sticks around, but he is gone. Okay, never mind. And so, so I need to wait for the guards to calm down. Oh, the dragon's actually back. Okay, so we're going to actually help take down this dragon. So hunting dragons is one of those skills that's kind of uh, useful in Skyrim. Is he just going to fly off? Okay, he just flew off. Well, that's good. Then... Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitors back. For 
for the privilege of entering this. Your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Yeah, so it's a little bit ridiculous about Riften, but it kind of sets the theme. Head inside when you're ready. For the city. You kind of get shakedowns all throughout the city, and you have to stick up for yourself. Clearly a very Skyrim-esque uh, creature here. Yeah, so um, Space Core is added into the game uh, again through the fall of the Space Core module. Now we are in Riften. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrow the money, you said you'd pay it back on time for double the usual fee. I know, I know. But how was I to know the shipment would get wrong? Next time, keep your plans quiet, and nothing will happen to you. What? Are you telling me you rob it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Look, Shotgun, last morning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is gold. So here, unfortunately, my spell. I owe a great deal of money. I was able to. Work. I borrowed some. Makes her skin look really kind of silly. Okay. Be careful with someone. So that's the first quest, and then the reasonably easy one. You just need to help deal with his um, being cheated uh, as a borrower. By talking with the person who loaned him money. People of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquid and embrace the teaching of your pockets. It's all of the way they walk. Oh, but that's maybe you'd like a taste. I've got a bit, and in my line of work, sort of an simple. Once you have it, I want you to play. There's someone that wants. I'll be out. Meet me then. So that's the quest that will um that starts the Thieves Guild quest. Very well, Talon. Yeah. I knew that. Look, this is really simple. All right. Tell Shadow he doesn't owe me anything. Okay. So yeah, as I said, that is a very easy quest to get her to forgive his debt. Now we just need to figure out where he, he ran off to. Um, oh, so he actually ran off to the stables. So we will just do a quick fast travel over to the stables and take care of this. So as I mentioned earlier, you need to help out enough people in a town and uh, you'll be able to buy property there. Some of the quests are easy, some of them are kind of involved. You can generally get a few quests by talking to uh, innkeepers. And as Riften is the place where I'd like to buy my first house, taking care of enough quests to allow that is a very high priority for me. Okay, and he is in this house. Unfortunately, it's nighttime, so we need to wait until it's daytime so that this is unlocked. I could pick a lock and make my way in, but he actually will refuse to talk uh, to me if I sneak in. So it's generally better to wait. So there he is. Eight. You actually talked her into it? I don't know what to say. Look, I was saving this. So he I gave me a potion. I thought I might need it if Sapphire came for me, but I don't need it anyway. Too lazy to walk, eh? Been stuck. I've been right. And one day, I was... Ah, not me. Oh. Tell you what. You match the bet, and we fight it. We'll come back when you earn some more, so I can take it from you. 
Oh, except I don't actually have enough gold to uh, to do that quest with him. So to wander off. That's so maybe I shouldn't have leveled up speech uh, with all that uh, with all that gold. I'll have to come back out and take care of it uh, afterwards. It's a little bit embarrassing having failed to have uh, joined the College of Winterhold and then failed to uh, do one of these side quests, but. Again, uh, with games like this, it helps to be crazy planned, but even having a moderate plan is usually good enough to give you a good advantage. The more planning you do, the, uh, the better you're going to be. Or at least the less time you'll waste. Have a cool looking bow here. Let's head back into Riften and get some more quests. Again, most of these quests are pretty easy. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble. Yeah, well, last thing the Black Briars need. The Black Briars me. I'm Maul. I watch the streets when we're speaking. So what do you want to know? You're kidding. I used to... If you want to get in on that action, find Grinoff in the marketplace. I'm sure he can use someone like you. Okay, so that... Give you another quest. Now down here you can talk to uh, the alchemist, um, or actually the alchemist's assistant, and get another quest to collect a bunch of stuff. I'm kind of busy, but if you need any potions or ingredients, let me know. So this is the alchemist himself. So you're interested in my Let's potions. see if we can sell him some stuff. We're not actually going to use this invisibility spell, and I rarely use uh, stamina, so we'll get rid of that. Probably aren't going to need this. Certainly don't need the Mammoth Cheese Bowl, which I forgot to sell to the Kajit out there. And let's talk to his assistant. I'm a spy. Master Elf. My errant formulas have cost Master Elf. To restore Master Elgris, my sense in that you may be interested in gathering, that means more time for my experiments and less time in the field. Cool. So the nice thing about this quest is that you just, you get notified when you pick up stuff that contributes to it. So you can basically get the quest and then forget about it. It's one of the easier quests to do. And this is Come to see what brings you to Balamon, Smithings. The secret is my forge. Well, it was This is the blacksmith. You will? Thank you. Ten pinches of fire salt, a flame atronox. Of course, it would be much easier to check with an alchemist. People next time one of my shields to flex a killing. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. And so he'll train you up in smithing, which is pretty awesome because it's one of those skills that you're not going to easily be able to afford to level all the way yourself. Let's also talk with Aragonian here. Only trouble with but you be interested in gathering. Thank you, but I'm seeking a small list of items to complete my next creation. Okay. And let's talk to Branshai. Okay. And I think here was somebody else who had a gathering stuff quest. Well, actually, while we were in here, we probably should have, uh, there was another person that we should have spoken with who will start another Gathering Stuff quest. So yeah, these quests are really easy, you don't go out of your way, you just make sure you don't sell the stuff. That, uh... Okay. Thank you. Cool. 
So yeah, I think we have all of the gathering, gathering random stuff quests now. I could try to join the Thieves Guild. The problem is I would probably need to save Scum a lot to do that because it's not easy to do the task that actually will complete uh, that quest for you. And I generally prefer not to save scum. It might be excusable. In case you're not familiar with the term, save scumming is when you save the game, try to do something, and if you f uh, fail, you reload the game and, um, and try again. Excuse my disorganization, but I'm not, yes, in fact, if, as you, what I need, bring those items back to me and I'll be, excellent, well, why are you still standing here? Okay. Let's, uh, or, and last is the soul gem. Okay. So those are, that's the other gathering uh, quest. I don't remember if we actually have anything that we can disenchant right now. Oh yeah, we do. We picked up that robe from that wizard we killed before. So, cool. And eventually we're actually almost certain to use that enchantment, which is Fortify Destruction and Increase Mana Regeneration. I spoke with, speak with her. There might have been... Okay, let's talk to the Jarl herself. Okay, so that's all that, that we'll do in there for right now. We're also going to head out uh, the side entrance to Riften. And um, on the docks, there is another NPC that we're going to talk to that will give us the second quest that we need that's important to go uh, deep in the uh, Dwemer uh, in the Dwemer ruins that we'll uh, later on encounter. She'll give us something that needs to be returned to uh, areas deep, deep underground. Yeah, I kind of wonder with the shield like that whether it would really hold up well in combat. It looks kind of fragile. Welcome to Riften, home of the Thieves Guild. Or so they have. Okay, let's see. Get in good with Brynjolf, then we'll talk. Okay. Now where is that NPC that we need to talk to? I think she normally walks around here. She might sometimes hang out in the fishery. Uh, it's not him. I'm the I am not seeing her, B but she might be asleep, or maybe she's hanging out inside the fishery. Let's pop in and see if she's in here. If not, we will head back out and uh, and wait and see if she shows up. Oh, I think this is her. If you could get me a healing potion, thank you, my friend. Oh, I don't have the healing potion to give her. Any healing potion. Please. Oh, pooey. Um, yeah. Okay, I guess there's nothing else to do in here. Normally, by the time I make it to this point in the game, I'm a little bit further along. And I have plenty of healing potions and other stuff on me. Now there is another um, Argonian, which is uh, which are those reptile critters wandering around, but it might be the wrong time of day for her to be here. Let's talk to this guy. Trees, fall forest, seeing the sorry oh. state of the city almost makes me regret my decision to leave my home and my apprenticeship completed. Okay, he's not helpful. Let's wait two hours. I guess it isn't early in the morning. In any case, yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm. Wonder if that that might be her. You have no idea what it's like to have everything. Then watch it up. I'm not the dumb one. I got mine off a of merchant ship in solitude. Okay. The first mistake I ever made. So it was my we recently. Anyway, I'm glad my work at the Black Briar meet my father, mother, if the priestess. Don't you stay. I just think they've let. I'm not so sick. I appreciate. Yes, we've. Been, my name may not be on the label, but some okay. of my blood. Okay, it's not helpful. Where is she? She might actually only show up when uh, when you're higher level. No, because normally she's wearing sh some armor and she's a little bit mentally off. Oh well, guess we'll have to come back later. So, what are we going to do next? So we actually have a fair set of quests at this point. And once you've uh, activated a quest in your quest log, it will show up on the compass, and it will show up on the map. And so it's helpful to try and uh, just head somewhere where you have a lot of things to do and take care of them. Of course, you have to manage your inventory, but it's not too bad. So here's the big map. Some of these don't make a uh, don't make a really big difference. Oh, bringing a club back to. Uh, Back to the Riverwood trader, uh, trader. That's pretty easy. And it frees up a little bit of weight in our infantry. So that is useful. Plus it in, uh, improves the disposition of the, uh, of the trader to us. And I think that might actually improve the prices that you get. Although this guy, as I said, he'll eventually become the most important trader that you'll ever deal with. But you need to... Um, to get one of the speech skills that's much later in the game before that happens. And that skill is a skill that lets you invest uh, money in traders. And once you do that, they, uh, they'll permanently have more gold to trade with you. Um, and he happens to have the unique attribute that he'll have a lot more gold to trade with you than pretty much anyone else. So let's talk with him. Give him the claw back. And he'll give us a little bit of gold. See, is there anything else that we need to do with him? No. But here are some goofy, uh, funny things that I normally like to uh, like to keep handy. They are squeaky uh, weapons, and they come from one of the mods that I have installed. They're mainly there for laugh uh, uh, for the laughs. Let's see. Is there anything else I need to take care of? Um, so, Fear Spell. Do I actually have enough mana to cast it yet? Illusion. So I need 135 mana. Uh, and I uh, only have 130. Okay, that's not good enough. So, I'm not ready to do that yet. I think I could probably manage to retrieve the horn...
Yeah, that seems like a pretty solid choice of things to do right now. Um, the only problem is it's way out in the middle of nowhere. But I guess that'll be a... That's a pretty uh, decent thing to do with the rest of the time I have in this Let's Play. So we'll head to this um, fast travel point, which is right outside of Whiterun, and run north to that dungeon. Have a neat skull to look at here. I think that's a dragon skull. Yeah, so it's north and a little bit west, and it's a fairly long way off. So let's get started. Kind of run as much of it as we can. Still keep on picking up useful things. And any map. Uh, map places that we pass by that we can uh, actually get onto our map without too much trouble we will do. So up ahead there is a giant camp. I think that symbol of the thing with the tusks is the universal symbol for a giant camp and you will notice that there are gigantic chickens there. That's because of a mod that I have installed. I am going to try and be a little bit naughty See if I can slip in and rob from the giant's chest. Oh, this is an expert one. I might just end up destroying all my lockpicks trying to do this, but I'll give it a try anyhow. I have seven lockpicks left. Aha! So it is somewhere near the upper left. Not looking too good. Oh, maybe it's somewhere near here. Sweet. Nothing that amazing. It looks like I did not get him angry enough to attack me. That's good. There's a butterfly. Let's grab its hit for its wings and grab another Nern root, which gives us a little bit of progress. And then we're going to continue. Let's save just in case. Because after all, that was kind of a, uh, a lucky go with the lockpick, and I don't want to lose uh, that in case I meet something I can't handle out here. That looks like a wolf to me. Uh oh. Ah, shoot. That's no good. Fortunately, the wolf actually killed a fox up there. And I will be. And I should be able to benefit from. And I did hear some sounds that sounded like arrows landing. That might mean that I'm being attacked by bandits. Ooh, I just felt something. Yeah, th those look like bandits. Let's see if I can take care of this guy. Okay, that's a decent set of stuff. See if I can heal myself up. Okay. And we're going to close with these guys. No, actually, maybe we'll try and get, take them down with bows. Uh, he's being dodgy. Still, dude. 
And unfortunately, they're also pretty good at, at weighing your current speed. Okay, this isn't working too well. So let's... We're going to... Visit this guy personally, and then there's the other guy up there. But yeah, they will try and judge where you are, so the important thing is to change direction after they shoot at you. Okay, that was a pretty weird sound. It might have been a glitch. Anyhow, there's... A wolf, which I already grabbed, but somebody being attacked again. Somebody up there. Nobody that way, so yeah, it really is somebody up in this direction who somehow managed to spot me. Okay, so I'm getting definitely pretty distracted. I'm going to use Muffle to make me harder to spot, but it looks like he already has me spotted and my sneak skill is not enough that he's going to forget where I am, or she. Let's see if I can take her out. Sweet. Well, it didn't actually. That was the most ridiculous kill ever because it just went through her quicker. But, oh well, not going to complain. And, ooh, some nice food. Sweet. And barrels often have apples in them. Which is not too bad because apples are a fairly uh, health, or a weight efficient way to, uh, to heal yourself. Uh, might as well really clear out this area while I'm here. I don't quite remember what's up at the top here. I think there's a smith in there, maybe. Oh yeah, there is a smith in there. So... Uh, muffle again. Ooh, sweet. That leveled me up. Got me a little bit more magicka. So theoretically I could return to the College of Winterhold now. But let's uh, take a look down there. I think that's another bandit. Whoop. Okay, that's one of the sad things about this game. Sometimes arrows get stuck without any really good reason. So they're trying to figure out where I am. And you can see the eyeball slowly closing. So, I guess I was just Eventually they forget that you exist. Which is great because... Gives you another shot to, uh, to kill them without uh, them chasing after you. They eventually wander back to where they want to be. And that is your chance to get them. Whoa, pooey. Unfortunately, that's a rather observant bandit. Let's see. And my sleep... Uh, my sneak skill is not particularly impressive at this point. Okay, got her, but she has a buddy down there. So while we're waiting for that guy to get back into, into view, I'll keep on working on my muffle spell. Yeah, so this is another important thing about the, uh, the game, is that you really do want to make sure that you, even if you're a, a mage, you want to make sure that you develop your health, uh, health up enough. Because if you don't, you're going to get creamed in certain, uh, certain parts. There's the mage. Way, way down there. And by mage, I just mean a bandit who knows how to cast some spells. Still. Okay, 
not the most intelligent of bandits, but enough not to want to hold still. So let's heal up. And again, it is super, super useful to, ha uh, to have that red dot telling you where your foe is, because sometimes you won't be able to see him. Now I'm going to do something that I hope I won't regret. I'm going to pop down and actually loot this area. Grab this book. So books tend to be pretty good uh, things to sell. Let's also empty out this chest. An orcish sword. Now that is quite nice for the level that I am. And there's your bandit. And I'm actually getting kind of full. Uh, full of stuff. A lunar steel sword. It has a nice enchantment. Now I think my foe is eventually going to wander into the area. So I need to be ready. She will pop in pretty soon, I think. And I will just sit here and can hear her footsteps. Let's try and make sure that I can, as soon as she gets into view, I can get her with an arrow. Because she will return here. Got her. And how are we doing on weight? 268 to 300. Okay, so pretty soon we're not going to be able to uh, carry any more. So let's actually use some of the leather that we have to improve some of this stuff, which will give us more boosts to our uh, smithing skill. Not very big boosts because uh, the boost that you get has to do with how uh, valuable the item is to begin with, but still reduces the weight of the equipment that we're using to boost. Oh, and there is some more iron. Let's see, is there... Anything that we can do this way? Yeah, we can improve this mace. Improve some of these daggers. And... Okay, so we've improved some of our stuff, gained a level in smithing, got us up to 19, which is not super useful, but again, this is something that we're going to be working on for a long time, and every little bit helps. So how close are we? We're not super far, but it might make sense to head back to Whiterun and sell what we have, and we can, uh, we can fast travel back here when we're actually ready to continue moving north. So yeah, progress toward where we want to go is good enough. And early in the game, you're going to want to err on the side of getting money quicker. Later on in the game, you're going to want to focus on high value items and make fewer trips back to towns. Part of this is because much, much higher uh, value items are going to become available. Got some good looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. And the whole point of all of this is to be efficient with your time. We have an iron sword, it does 11 damage. Orcus sword does 12 damage. Orcus sword does not weigh a lot more. We're definitely going to go with 
Yeah, we have Lunar here. I'm gonna sell the Vorax here. And just sell our spell, uh, spare armor. And, uh, Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need it. Should be enough, except we're also going to head up and uh, disenchant our uh, our lunar weapons because I believe that being lunar is an enchantment, and again. Every uh, enchantment helps, gives you more options, and generally, once you have a steady supply of, uh, of full soul gems, uh, that's a great source of income, but you're always going to want to put the most uh, valuable uh, enchantment on an item before selling it. So let's uh, disenchant. Circlet of Illusion, Novice Robes of Alteration, and a Lunar Iron Mace, and we can one of these bats. Do we actually have any full soul gems? Yes, we do. One of them is stolen. That is fine. We can enchant one of these bows. Let's see. So we're 332, 372. So we'll enchant the bow to do magicka damage. We'll enchant another bow to do magicka damage. And we got some decent experience out of that. Let's also see if we have any ingredients that we should try eating because we haven't used them yet. I'm not going to use Nern Root because it's needed for a quest. And otherwise, we'll see if we can learn some new potions here. Two potions that will restore some health, because we're actually going to find that pretty useful soon. And we did, we made enough potions to boost alchemy and level up, and level up we will. I'm going to do magicka again, and let's see, what else should we do? We're not quite... Not quite ready to think about speech again yet. We can't do archery again yet. But we can improve uh, one-handed weapons. Oh, we have another perk. Apparently we didn't spend a perk last time. So let's improve our use of shields. Cool. And does this guy buy potions? I can't remember. Apparently not. We have a soul of hysteria that we can tell to him. That's good. We already have the candlelight spell. We can tell him this book too. Which of these is more important? Probably the Amulet of Tabella. I could keep both and swap them, but... I would rather not be swapping gear around too much at this point. So let's put this on. This has an armor ra rating of 16. This has an armor rating of 18. Okay, so our goofy shield, we're not actually going to use it. So I think that's about it for now. We are going to um, fast travel back to that camp. Actually, we're going to sell uh, off these enchanted weapons first. But then we're going to fast travel to, uh, back to that camp and save for there. We'll finish making it up to, um, to where we were going for that quest in the next uh, Let's Play. But this one's already getting pretty long.
So yeah. Let's run down here. After reforming the dawn. Men are all alike. Skyrim. People love to chatter. Okay, so we walked by a guard there that mentioned um, the Dawn Guard, and that uh, those are the guys who are uh, vampire hunters. And I have them because of an extension that I installed. Eventually, I'm going to go take care of that quest, but not now. So let's sell. Our longbows. And I guess that's it. Well, we are going to, since we end, ended up switching swords, we need to add this to our quick use thing. I'll zip back up to the uh, Silent Moons camp. And we'll head back up to uh, to get the dragon horn in, uh, horn in the next uh, Let's Play. And just to remind you, that dragon horn is to uh, give to the Greybeards. So yeah, we'll leave off here. <laughs>